Hello again, so today's video is a little haul from Vanessa Pens. I purchased some ink samples and a full bottle of ink. Now, I've never actually purchased samples before. I don't know why. I think I've always just went for it when I purchased bottled inks or inks in general, fountain pen inks in general. So this was the first time I purchased some samples. Um, the first ink, however, is a full bottle. They did not have the samples available, but I am happy with it. I think out of the three, this one is my favorite ink, and it's very similar to my favorite ink, which is Sierra Mist from Color Nostalgia. It is a little bit more gray when it dries. Sierra Mist is a little bit more greener. And then this second ink that I purchased is it kind of confused me a little bit because online it had more green tones to it i mean i know it had some yellowness to it but not in the same way that this looks this looks very close to the sepia ink i have in private reserve and it just kind of threw me for a loop so i am happy that i only purchased a sample of it and then the third ink is this kind of lime olive color it's bright um, but I, I do like it, but I, again, I think the first ink is my favorite out of the three. And I just love how these samples allow you to test out inks. So if you don't like it, then you don't have a huge bottle full of it. You have just a small little vial of it. So I will definitely be trying out more samples when I do buy inks from now on. They don't always have the samples available, but when they do, it's really nice. And then I also purchased my third Conklin fountain pen. I have a All American and a Word Gauge, and I purchased both of those in the Flex Nib. This pen is just a nice slender olive pen, and it's, it's a nice weight. It has a snap closure, however, the clip in the cap it's not the greatest, it's really, really stiff, so it clipping the pen onto things is very difficult. I went with a medium-sized nib because I wanted to see how the medium in this brand did, and I kind of regret it because I kind of want a flex nib now. But it's still a really pretty pen. I think it's called a Cor Coronet, but it came with a converter, which is always nice when the pen comes with a converter. However, I can always syringe a cartridge. And so here I am just trying to figure out which ink to put in this pen. I went with the first one and my, for some reason, the converter was being weird so I had to remove it from the pen and just syringe the ink without the nib. And it worked fine. Um, and here I am just listing out the pen with the ink in the back of my journal. I do that with all of my journal and notebooks just so I can have a list of the pens that I have inked up at the moment. Sierra Mist and this new ink do look very similar and I like to be able to compare them. You can't really tell them apart but once you do look at them you'll notice that they are different. They're both really beautiful pale green colors which I do like. This one still has kind of like, I don't know, it still shows dark on the page even though it's a paler green. Um, I don't know if I can explain it. <laughs> right but i am really happy with this purchase i think this pen is really nice i love shopping um online with finesse they usually ship out orders really quickly and they're very nice so i'm really happy with these purchases i hope you enjoyed this video and i will catch you in the next one